So that's what's going on on college campuses right now. It's a funny thing. Like the parents are like, oh, we're pay, we paying $90,000 to send you to this beautiful university. <laughs> and we hope. Love. We hope you're getting something wonderful out of this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, today, what we did today was we went out there you know, during our protests. Uh, screw classes. I don't care about classes, but yeah. we went out there and we prayed like the Muslim way. You know. Yeah, you're paying for your sons and daughters to be duped into converting to Islam. All right. So check this out here. There's a response to this, and she she shows the picture. Let me see. Let's see. Uh, it's a long post. We'll go ahead and read this real quick because this is all she's way. This is something that happens. It's the same thing with like Mossad, right? Mossad, Hassan, Yusuf responding to college protesters and they have no clue. They have no clue what they're actually doing. They have no clue what's actually going on. And a, a person who does know tries to tell them and they just don't care. It's similar here. Right. It's similar. A woman from Iran tells these girls what they're bowing to. I know. I'm look sorry. At but, um, just looking at the photo, let me tell you one thing. I want to tell you something about Muslim culture. Just looking at this photo. So th these women have no idea how they are presenting themselves and how this is viewed in Muslim culture, especially from the perspective of, of uh, Muslim men, of religious, religious preachings and so on. Uh, just looking at this, this looks extremely sexual. Mm -hmm. This just looks extremely sexual. And and you might say, well, why? It was just just a bunch of women just there, you know, uh, on the ground. Well, that's not how it is viewed in Muslim culture, because Muslim culture, uh, specifically, it is it is said uh, women are not supposed to be seen, are not supposed to show themselves, are not supposed to pray in front of men, lest they distract, the, uh, mm -hmm. they might distract the men from... Uh, is this with, something, with is this sexual, something that could distract? Is this something that could distract men? They were looking at this? They could, they will probably go crazy. I mean, just looking at that woman, just the, the, the first one... Huh. Uh, Which one? With, with her butt exposed. Uh, Which her one? Back exposed. <laughs> this, this is like... People will go crazy and will say, well, I can't control myself. I can't yeah. control myself. Should I pray now or should I go and hump her? Like, yeah. This is what they will, this is how they will react to this issue. This is just, yeah. this is extremely sexual. But what do you think happens? What in the world do you think happens in a culture where women are basically uh, covered up to look like trash bags, uh, where they are put into, shoved into the background and so on? Uh, what, what do you think happens if, if you then suddenly put women out there and make them bow and make them prostrate and make them show a little bit of skin. People go crazy. People mm -hmm. go nuts. It yep. is overly Lose sexualized, fueled by sexual repression. These people have no idea what they're doing. These absolute imbeciles. Yeah. Pretty, pretty dumb. So, and look, they don't even have like real prayer mats and stuff. They're on like beach towels and stuff, face down, butt up in the air thinking oh we're showing our solidarity with islam oh yeah they're going to want you to show more and to convert um and then the rules are going to change and you're going to have a problem if you uh go out in public like that all right so tired kitten here responds i'm an iranian woman and have lived under the islamic republic for 20 and a half years i moved to germany why because i want to turn it into an islamic hill hole. that's what that's what uh, people keep doing no that's not why she moved there. I moved to Germany because I thought the values I considered important would be respected in free Western countries. I'm in other I'm leaving the Muslim world so I can get to a place that has better values. People cannot even imagine how triggering it is for us to see the unholy unity of Islamists and radical leftists. This is the very phenomena that changed the history of my country for the worse. I am beyond disgusted and disturbed. The women standing behind literal terrorists and Islamists saying prayers at universities to the women, to these women, you don't even know what you're getting yourself into. None of you have read the Al-Nisa Surah, that's Surah 4, where it is clearly stated that men literally own you and have the right to hit you if you refuse to have sex with them. Oop, she actually quotes it here, Surah 4, verse 34. Men are the protectors and maintainers of women because Allah has given the one more strength than the other and because they support them from their means. Therefore, the right, therefore, the righteous women are devoutly obedient. Isn't that interesting? Righteous women are devoutly obedient. You watch videos of all these uh, 
Western converts, and it's, I'll decide for myself, and you guys can't tell me what to do, because I decide for myself. It's all about just me, me and Allah, me and Allah. We're mates. Yes. We don't have to listen to Ooh. anyone else. We don't have to listen to the scholars, the Tawa guys, our husbands, nobody. We just, this is how Islam works in our, this is how Islam works in our minds. Yes, queen. Therefore, the righteous women are devoutly obedient and guard in the husband's absence what Allah would have them guard. As to those women on whose part ye fear disloyalty and ill conduct, admonish them first, next refuse to share their beds, and last beat them lightly, in parentheses, because it's not actually in the Arabic. But if they return to obedience, seek not against them means of annoyance, for Allah is most high, great above you all. So beat them until they return to obedience. If your wife disobeys you, you beat her until she returns to to obedience. Wow, wow, wow. Whoa, hey. Yes, she even... slay, queen. What you are standing up for today is anything but being woke and progressive. You should have the right to protest and stand up for causes that are important to you. But fighting Jewish students, attacking them, not understanding the fact that the hostages have to be brought back home and no peace can exist before that happens is outright wrong. Interesting. She's telling you, you guys are wrong. What you're doing is wrong. People who truly advocate about and fight for human rights are not selective with the causes they care about. Caring about human rights is one thing. Standing up behind Islamists waving Hezbollah and Hamas flags and saying slogans that are against Jews and outright radical are not it. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Hashtag bring them home. Hashtag university protests. And she's, and she's specifically addressing this line of total dopes here. Duh, look how tolerant I am. I'm bowing down. Duh. Wow, wow, wow. Welcome. Welcome. So I keep saying welcome to Islam, Just, but my goodness, welcome to, welcome to the intellectual level of college students in 2024. The greatest contribution of the protesters was to provide Islam with Islamic porn. That's good. We have to agree with this comment from D. It would be funny if the converted campus kids made a woke version of Islam and spread. Yeah, but I don't think it will. It can last for a while. And Dawa guys will let it last for a while when it's convenient. And then they will crush it whenever it's, it becomes not convenient.